Welcome to another video. Some time ago, I covered the browser use agent, which was quite cool to use and pretty great. But recently, DeepSeek v3 got launched, which is quite cool and on par with Sonnet. It is actually insanely cheap, and recently I saw this GitHub repo, which is a web UI for browser use. It supports all kinds of providers, is super easy to configure, and allows you to get a whole web browser controlling agent within seconds. So, let me tell you how it all works. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Photogenius AI gives you all kinds of image generation models in one place whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kardinsky, or any image generator model that you can think of. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well, with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part, is that it starts at only $10. And you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So, make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Anyway, if we talk a bit about this repo, it's actually built on the browser use library that I covered earlier. It is just a browser interface to control and launch browser use agents easily. If you remember, previously, to use the browser use agent, you'd have to create a Python file, then write a bit of code, and then make it work. It was good if you wanted to implement it in some kind of workflow, but using it generally for simple tasks, it was not as good. So, this browser use web UI comes in handy because it gives you a web interface that supports all the major browser use features. It also has expanded LLM support, giving you compatibility with Gemini, OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, Anthropic, DeepSeek, and Alama. I'll tell you how to use it with DeepSeek and Gemini 2.0 Flash as well. It also has custom browser support, which means you can connect it to your own browser. And if you want it to make the agent perform something that requires login, you can just sign in inside your default browser, and it can control that, which is quite cool. It's also customized with some better system prompts, which is good because you can type in a basic prompt, and with better system prompts, it can perform those tasks much better than general browser use. Now, let me tell you how you can use it and how it all works. First of all, Clone this repo on your computer. Once you do that, you can just get into the folder. Now, make sure that you first install the browser use Python package by running pip install browser use. Once you have done that, you'll also need to install the Playwright browser and related components. To do that, just run Playwright install, and this will install the required stuff. Once that's done, You'll also need to install the required packages by running pip install rrequirements.txt. This will get the necessary packages installed. Now, since everything is done, we can create our environment variables file and set up the required API keys. Just move the environment example file .env and open it up. This is self-explanatory. Here, you can put in the API keys for the tools you want to use. I'll focus on using it with DeepSeek v3 and Gemini. So, just add the required API keys, and if you want to use the hyperbolic API, change that in the DeepSeek base URL and use it for free as well. Gemini is also free, so that's great. Anyway, once that's done, save it, and then just run the server with this command. It will start the app on localhost and the port it specifies. Open it up 
and you'll see these options. Here, you can select the agent type you want to use, like the original or custom agent. Original means it will run without any system prompts, while custom uses some optimized system prompts and features. I prefer custom. Then, you have the maximum run steps, which define how many steps it can take to achieve the given task. By default, it comes with 100 steps. You also have the Use Vision option, which improves performance by allowing the agent to look at screenshots. Although it doesn't work with DeepSeek, this option does work with Gemini, so you can use it accordingly. You can also select the LLM provider, like DeepSeek or Gemini, and enter the model name here. This is a text box. With Gemini, it defaults to 2.0 Flash, while with DeepSeek, you'll need to change it to DeepSeek Chat. You can also modify the LLM base URL and API key here if you don't want to set them in the environment file. Then, you have the browser settings. Here, you can make it use your own browser, run it in headless mode, or disable security. You can also set the window height and width here. One more feature is that it records the browser session as a screen recording, so you can view it later, and you can change the recording path here. Now, after this, we have the main task option. Here, you can enter the task you want the agent to do along with additional info that will also be supplied to the agent along with the prompt. Below that, you'll see the results of the run. So, let's give it a task and ask it to search for AI Code King. Let's send it and see. Okay, you can see that as soon as we send the task, it opens the window and, very similar to the original browser use, starts working on the task by opening Google and searching for it. If we wait a bit, it's done. It handled it pretty well, which is what we expected. Browser use is actually great and works very well in most cases. You can check out my previous video to see the testing I did. Anyway, I'm not going too deep into this right now because I just want to demo how it works. You can give it any task here and it can accomplish it. I was using DeepSeek here. But now, let's also use the Gemini 2.0 Flash model, because many of you might want to use it since it's free. Just set it here, enable vision, and then send your task. You can also change anything else if you want as well. Now, let's ask it to tell me the stock price of NVIDIA. Once we send it, you can see it starts working again by opening Google and searching for it. If we wait a bit, it's done, which is great. Browser use is highly compatible with all types of models since it doesn't heavily rely on the vision capabilities of the model. And this web UI is really good. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.